This is the coldest day of the year so far in South Korea, 21 degrees. For those of you, well, majority of the world who use Celsius, negative six degrees. Ugh, this is definitely a hot pot kind of day. And before we go hot potting, just a big shout out to Fetch Rewards for sponsoring this video. And I've been getting a lot of messages from you guys saying how much you love Fetch and that's awesome and, and kind of expect it because why, why wouldn't you love it? It's just basically free stuff for receipts that you would usually just throw away. So if you have not used Fetch yet, it's basically an app where it gives you, like I said, free stuff by scanning your everyday receipts. And of course, just like every single sponsor that makes it on my channel, I used it myself to make sure that it works. It's legit and guys, this thing is awesome. How it works is that they basically have thousands of participating products from cereals to diapers, things you basically use every single day. And all you gotta do is download the app, scan the receipts, the process takes seconds. And then you get points. And when you have enough points, you can redeem it for whatever you want, like Amazon gift cards, restaurant gift certificates, which is basically all I've been using it for. The app is a cinch to use. It's really easy to sign up. Of course, I can't really use it here in South Korea, but here you can see the app, my receipt, you scan it, and that's it. And right away you get your points. And if you're like me, usually I hate receipts, especially when you go to CVS where they give you enough receipts to pretty much mummify yourself. But now I can turn that into free stuff. And it's not just from grocery stores. You can scan your receipts from restaurants, pet stores. Huh? I gotta see dumplings soon. Even online purchases. Speaking of online shopping, if you just wanna do that, you can utilize their Yeet receipt feature and just earn rewards while shopping online. So if you wanna give this a try, go to my link down below, download the app and use my promo code dumpling. And for a limited time, you're gonna get 4,000 points for scanning your first receipt. I'm pretty sure that's a free gift card right there. All right, I'm, I'm feeling cold just sitting in my house. Let's go get some hot pot. Today I am in Hyundai once again because this is the land, this area right here is the land of cheap all you can eat and today it's gonna be all you can eat hot pot. In this place, Huangguo all you can eat hot pot and typically the price is 12000 800, so about $11. On the weekend, it's $15,000, so about $14. Still, all you can eat hot pot for $11 or $14, that's a deal. Remember, no tax and tip. That's the total price. Let's go check it out. So this is the sauce bar. All the usual suspects when it comes to sauce, sesame sauce, chilies, hot oil, garlic, peppers, ooh, even chive sauce. And then this is the meat section. Lean beef, fatty beef, lamb, pork belly, dumplings. So not a huge selection of meat, but that's what you need right there, the fatty beef. And this is all the veggies and fish balls and seafood. Drinks, of course, are included. What little flower roll, Bajun. Some sesame sauce, hot oil, tons of garlic, little bit of chive sauce, oyster sauce, chilies, cilantro, soy sauce, splash of Chinese vinegar, hot oil. Okay, so this is pretty much a very Chinese hot pot. It has all the Chinese ingredients, like the, the sauce station, pretty much perfect. So after eating here, not today, but like, Maybe tomorrow? I don't know. There's supposed to be another Aoki Korean hot pot down the road. I'm gonna go visit that. This area, I'm telling you, this is A-Y-C-E Central. I had to spell that slowly because I'm like, oh, you not very smart. In the U.S., you cannot get all you can eat Chinese hot pot for about $12. No way. Let's see how good it tastes though. It's time for the broth test. So far, this, this place kind of reminds me of Little Lamb. You got the white herbal uh, sauce on one side and the spicy sauce on the other. It's not really herbal, it's like more of a vegetable broth, maybe with some bones in there. Flavor is a little light. <laughs> oh yeah, spicy is much better. <laughs> much better, spicy. It's very nummy and spicy. The, the broth is lacking a bit of depth. Honestly, for $14, like, I'll eat anything. You dunk the meat and water, I'll eat it. Now oh, we got the meat test. Meat dipped into the 
spicy broth, you can eat that straight up. The flavor of the broth soaked in pretty well. Mm, not too bad. Also, lamb is really good. Meat is pretty tender. I like a good amount of marbling on my beef and lamb. Oh, look at that fatty beef. This is really, really important. If you get a piece of beef and it doesn't have that nice fat on there, it's really easy to overcook it and it becomes kind of dry and tough. But this with the fat. That is a beautiful fatty piece. Dunk that in just a little bit of chilies, tiny bit, all right? Don't overdo it. Just a little bit of chilies on your dipping sauce. All right. For me, it might be frozen. Actually, come on, they're all frozen. But a good dunk in the dipping sauce. Amazing. One ingredient you don't see a lot in the U.S. is chives. Mm, first time having chives dipped in hot pot. Chives are good everywhere. Inside a dumpling, outside a dumpling, inside a hot pot. Oh, that's about it. I mean, nah, it's a lot of places. Mm, I don't know, sauce over my mac. Okay. It's gonna smell really good in there. Something else I really like about hot pot places here in South Korea, the Napa cabbage, we used to just toss that in there. Hope for the best, hope it shows up. And then sometimes you just you try to eat the whole thing and it kind of burns your mouth a little bit. South Korea, land of scissors on food. Now it's a little chunks. <laughs> Beef tendon is something you don't see a lot on all you can eat hot pot. It is so rare and good. Super gelatinous -y and makes your skin nice and soft. You don't believe me? I still feel my arm. It's not a creepy or anything, just see what tendon and chicken feet and pig's feet does to my skin. Soft. What else is really cool here, they have extra broths over there sitting by the ingredients so you can add whatever broth you're missing, which is different from the US because in the US, if you're missing like the spicy broth or the regular broth, they only add chicken broth. Like they don't actually give you whatever broth you're actually eating. And also if it's not spicy enough, there's some chilies by the soda machine there. You can, you can go ahead and add that in. Let's just make your day a little hotter. This is a good place. The difference between the, the 15,000 won and the 12,000 won is that it's the seafood. So if you like seafood, you can spend that extra 3,000 won like a two dollars and get unlimited seafood and i've been really enjoying the tripe so the seafood and the tripe the extra meats you get that for the extra three thousand won but either way spending 12 to 14 dollars on an all-you-can-eat hot pot with this type of quality i definitely categorize this as extremely value driven quality meal all right so after dinner i'm gonna go eat dinner and then we'll, we'll go try the korean all-you-can-eat hot pot next time I'll put on my hot pot basket Hot pot mask. Maybe that should be a thing. You probably see me crossing bridges a lot while in Seoul. Basically, there's this giant river right here called the Han River, which is so beautifully majestic, by the way. And there's so many fun things to do along the Han River. That's a Yi Mart. And it's open 24 hours a day. And they sell, of course, all sorts of snacks you'll find in a convenience store. What's great is that they all have ramen things set up so you can just buy instant noodles. And they have like cool vending machines where it helps you cook the instant noodles. And there's usually seating around there. So you can just go sit around and eat along the river. And you can get food delivered to the river. So if you just go down there, sit along the river, you can just have Domino's <laughs> brought to you. And let's see, you ate too much, you have an upset stomach. Korean porta potty. Well, not, not really porta potties, but really nice little trailer like bathrooms. You can eat as much as you want, never have to worry. Also, I filmed this before, but there are gyms down there, like out in the open. You can enjoy the river, have a meal, have a workout to burn off that meal, and just repeat if necessary. Anyway, on to food. And this is what I'm here for today. So, last time I tried the all you can eat Chinese hot pot. Now, all you can eat Korean hot pot. Let's see what the difference is. I just took a look at this buffet. This place is amazing. Okay, let me, let me show you around. So juice fruits here. 
you have your veggies, corn sprouts. Okay, that's all kind of boring. Here you get the noodles. Those look like fresh noodles with uh, chili sauce in them. Some rice cakes, fish balls, fried rice, more fresh noodles, which is always amazing. A broth bar in case you run low on broth where you want to try different flavors. A sauce bar that looks pretty darn good. They have a live cooking station, sundae, udon, rice cakes, mapo tofu, really? Garlic fried rice, green beans, tomatoes and tomatoes and eggs. Be still my beating heart. Fried chicken. And here what they have, it's kind of like a Vietnamese inspired section. So there's rice paper here and the hot water. So you can do rice wraps. This is the meat section. So you have two different kinds of bulgogi. And the one over there is bomb bulgogi. I don't know what bomb bulgogi is. I'm gonna find out for you guys. This all you can eat hot pot. It's one of the greatest things I've seen in the all you can eat hot pot realm. Not only is it full of hot dishes that's being cooked fresh, there's fresh noodles. There's a selection of meat that all looks absolutely quality with nice mix of fat and lean. There's bulgogi that you can grill on this hot pot with a moat of broth surrounding it in case you want to get a little soupy with this hot pot. There's drinks, there's ice cream, there's an icy machine. You can make some waffles, all for $17. That's including tax and tip. Having even begin to eat this, it is already kind of overwhelming me a little bit. All right, I gotta try out their regular dishes first. The honey butter potato chip is one of the greatest inventions in the Korean snack world. And they make it fresh here. Also, they have what's called a garlic series or a garlic collection, which I assume. Mm. Oh, that garlic fried rice is amazing. Mm. So is the green beans. Mapo tofu is a little sweet. That one's not the greatest. But the tomatoes and eggs, those are some creamy eggs. It's also jajangmyeon, spicy udon, sundae blood sausage. Mm, that's not bad blood sausage. I'm trying to actually eat this quick because I want to get to the main event. Oh, that jaja man is so good. I'd be happy just downing a couple bowls of that, but we got to get to the meat. What I really enjoy about this is there's so many broths that you can just kind of interchange. You can finish a broth and you can go try another broth. And they have different styles of pot. So this pot that we got, by the way, Kristen and Daniel are joining me for this meal. Hello. You guys never been here? Never been yeah, here. Yeah, I've been this, here. You've been here? Yeah. This is an amazing place. This is our school. Near my school. Near your so. school. <laughs> it's crazy. It's my first time here. Isn't this insane? Oh, it's mind blowing. 17 bucks. Tax, tax included. included. Yeah, that's it. This will be easily 30 something dollars in the States. Easily. So it is like open tam, so it's like spicy Korean soup. Base. Spicy Korean soup? Yeah, spicy Korean soup. Oh, you tried it. This is really good broth. Mm. It's good broth. It's really good. It's good. It can only get better. That's the thing about hot pot broth. I love how like it's kind of like a delicious malt surrounding a castle of beef. The two cuts of bulgogi, I can't, one of them is just called bomb. And that I think is this one right here. That's pretty bomb. Oh, that is really fatty. That thing is melting your mouth tender. And this is coming from someone who's like really sick of bulgogi. That's delicious. Only thing I don't like about bulgogi is how sweet it is. But this is not overly sweet. It's really good dipping sauce for bulgogi. Mm. There's a little citrus in here and some sesame. That makes it really, really good. I just sit here all day and just eat a bulgogi. I can definitely eat more than $17 worth of bulgogi from this place. Mm. So Daniel and I met during quarantine. He didn't have any hot food for two weeks. No microwave, nothing hot. All my food were Did he just cold. give you the rice dishes that were just cold? Yeah, it was cold. Like, it he was not warm. I couldn't heat it up at all. I mean, I didn't have any bed sheets, but I'd rather have hot food than bed sheets. Mm, the brisket is even better. It's much fattier. This will be my go-to comfort buffet from now on. I'll just come here and eat the brisket and the bulgogi and my day will just get better. Wow, this place is great. Mm, it's so juicy too. Now adding the mala broth. The 
mala is amazing. Yeah, it's better than the, the Chinese hot pot mala. I'm gonna advocate coming to this place instead of the other place I was just at. I mean, it's $6 more on a weekend three dollars more 100 percent worth it yo that's much better than the chinese hot pot broth yeah, isn't it it is really good it's really good chinese that's really good broth my soul is so warm right it's good you can tell it's a good broth when you don't even need the dipping sauce it's just just straight from the pot good enough to eat all right got some of these rice wrappers dip it in put it right here that's some of the veggies that you like. This is like a train wreck looking rice wrap. First time I did this, I got yelled at by the Vietnamese aunties for first of all, not dipping this in the water correctly. And secondly, making something that looks like rice wrap roadkill. But hey, Sounds it tastes good, right? Mmm. Yo, even without dipping this in the sauce, this is really good. I never tried hot pot meat in a Vietnamese rice wrap before, but this is genius. I'm gonna add this to my hot pot kit. Amazing. This is that really springy, chewy texture from the rice wrapper. It makes so much difference with that delicious flavor, so fatty brisket. I'm gonna try to wrap one with that. All these spicy cabbage and stuff in there. I'm gonna roll this around. Put this directly onto the rice wrapper. Saucy meat, little cucumbers and onions, a little bit of greens. I feel like every time I wrap one of these, I gotta say a prayer first. Oh, please, mighty food gods, help my little wrapper thing not look as bad as it did before. Please help the rice wrapper not stick so much to the plate. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This might be the best one I've ever done. Look at it, it's not even falling out. Mm. Mm. Genius, this thing. <laughs> mm. I can't believe I've never seen this in a hot pot place before. Game changer. Thank you so much, Vietnamese people. I like brisket. That was the single best thing ever. So, oh, it's so good, it's so much garlic. I feel like if I just breathe in anyone's general direction from half a mile away, they're gonna pass out, but that is good. Okay, next, noodles going in. And these are fresh noodles. This is gonna taste absolutely amazing. This pot probably is not the, the best one to get for, uh, for boiling noodles. Try our best though. Kind of just gotta spread it out, like snake it around. You gotta be really st strategic with that noodle placement with this hot pot. After you cook the, the pasta in this little bit of broth, the whole thing turns really starchy, but it's kind of cool because it kind of coats the meat with the mala broth. Whoa. Game changer. Oh. Because the starch is in the broth, it grabs onto the meat so much better. Oh, try it, try it. Oh, this is so good. Revelation, Korea, you are just stepping it up in every single way when it comes to hot pot. Oh, I love you for this. The official name for that is gonna be called coated beef. How's your coated beef? And that same thick broth is now coating the noodles that's boiled in there. Oh, this whole thing just turned red. These are the most flavor-rich hot pot noodles I've ever put in my mouth. It's too much flavor, it's, it is too much. I need something to siphon the flavor off a bit, so I'm just adding some beef to it. Wow, this is crazy. How much of the spices and flavor penetrated in noodles. It's almost like this is like a solidified broth that you're putting into your mouth. That's just insane. This is my favorite part of this hot pot experience so far. Mm. And what's really amazing about the Korean hot pot experience is that the noodles are not the final stage. The final stage, as with many Korean pot related dishes, is fried rice. You start off with some brisket on the pot.
When you hear the rice snap, crackle, pop him, dig in. Mmm. Woo. That was really, really good. Bottom is crispy, cutting up the meat. Superb touch. Seaweed, always wonderful. That's really good. Yeah, good going with that. I thought noodles were the best way to finish off a hot pot, but all this fried rice, amazing. I thought I knew all there was to know about hot pot eating. After this uh, Korean hot pot experience, I realized I know nothing. Well, not, not nothing, but like, I don't know everything. There's a big hot pot world out there just waiting to be devoured. Mm. That's when you hear when the waffle's done. Because I was sitting there eating, and every 10 minutes that song would come on, and I was just wondering, what the heck is that? Now I know. It's the sound of a delicious waffle being born. Ice cream, of course. I assume this is mango. Oh, that's awesome. I don't know why. Waffles are just better in this country. You gotta stop for waffles. Anytime you see a waffle guy selling waffles, you get a waffle. I always go to Baskin Robbins. Baskin Robbins are really good here too, right? Baskin Robbins here is amazing. Amazing. They have like the hot dog flavor too, which is my favorite. No one goes to Baskin Robbins in the US unless you want to buy an ice cream cake. But here, ah, amazing. Mmm, perfect hot pot wrap up. About to walk out and then I saw this. So apparently this in Korean means uh, if you know what you're eating, it tastes better. But in Chinese, 情肉店, feeling meat store. I like that much better. Cause when I eat that meat, I get the feels. We were trying to go buy like a hat cause we're all cold. We all have cold heads, but then this is a detour. Wow, that is a huge dumpling. Oh my gosh, just look at this ginormous pork feet. Wow, that looks so good. I just wanna sink my teeth into that. Right, chicken. It's a really cool little food court shopping area. Wait, have you been to the one in the US? We have pie hole too. I mean, I guess everybody has a pie hole. Oh, it kind of looks like the, no, I think it's the same thing. No, it's, it's not the same Ching as the US. It's, it's a completely different hole. Oh, this building's really pretty. I bet when you walk by this building, when it's super sunny out, I couldn't open your eyes. Kind of really, you done shut off restaurant right now. Bring your pie to a park. Oh, that's great pie. Oh, that's great. Oh, great. Oh, try that. That is amazing. Oh, it's so good. Oh, my life is so much. Well, my life's already pretty good right now, but <laughs> even better with that pie now. That hits you like twice. With a nice. Oh, I know what you mean by twice. Right? Yeah. That hits you like that, like that really popular K-pop group. Twice. You get, <laughs> you get, you get that. You get the nice uh, creamy Earl Grey whipped topping and then the chocolate gets you. Mmm. Mm. Oh, that tea flavor is bomb too. That's so good. That's really, really good. Blueberry's good, but it's not as good as the Earl Grey. Ooh, chestnut and chocolate. Okay, Earl Grey's the best. Not even a competition. This is the best one. God, I love this Earl Grey thing. Mm. I don't know, I might go with the chestnut. Really? This is how we have fun now. Go eat an all-you-can-eat hot pot and then hang out with your friends at the park and eat pie. <laughs> ah, it's another day here in South Korea. All right, guys, as always, all the players win to listen down below for you. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later. <laughs>